Commander Rydeck was able to work behind the scenes during the negotiations and made contact with a representative from the Hotari delegation named Tylus. She mentioned an unusual artifact of unknown origin being held under tight security within the Hotari Palace, which she believes came from the mines on Tau. Now, this artifact might have a connection to the revolt, to the storm, and to the warp disruption we now know has been targeted at the Resolute. Commander Rydick, if you want to take it from here. Of course. Tylus managed to infiltrate the heavily guarded location within the palace and sent us these scans using my tricorder. It appears to be some sort of control panel, possibly connected to the warp disruption weapon originating on Tau. Of particular interest is this symbol, which we couldn't identify the origin of. The Federation database has records from a vast number of civilizations. If anyone from Starfleet has come across this before, the system should recognize it. Cross-referencing with Federation records. Displaying symbols from Federation database with a 90% probability of match or higher. Select a symbol to further analyze. Ninety-nine point two percent match. Got it. So, what are we looking at? The design and composition indicate this is a glyph associated with the ancient Khan Empire. Their civilization collapsed over six hundred thousand years ago, but once spanned millions of systems with a population numbering in the trillions. Fascinating. The Takan were once the most advanced, most powerful civilization in the galaxy. Is it possible the Hotari found Takan technology? I wonder if they even know what they have. Our knowledge of the Takan is limited. I have only encountered passing references to them. I can't speculate about how much they know, but one thing's for sure. They know how to use it. Indeed. Which might explain how they seized control of the mines. And targeted us with a weapon that prevents warp travel. Computer, what is the last recorded discovery of other Takan artifacts? On Stardate 41386.4, the USS Enterprise D under the command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard discovered a Takan outpost in the Delphi Ardu system. According to the mission summary, an unbreakable energy draining field was deployed against the Enterprise and a Ferengi ship. The Enterprise was only able to escape after negotiating their release with an entity known as Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Unbreakable energy draining field? 
It starts to make sense. What else is there? There's a lot here. Let's take it piece by piece. Select the aspect you wish to learn more about. There appears to be some sort of restriction order from Starfleet. Computer, explain this restriction. A Starfleet directive similar to General Order 7 forbids entering the Delphi Ardu system or attempting to make contact with Portal 63. Hmm. Starfleet doesn't throw up a no trespassing sign for just anybody. I suppose it makes sense considering what happened to the Enterprise D. What sort of planet is Delphi Ardu 4? Delphi Ardu 4 is an M class planet. A barren, rocky world with little to no vegetation and frequent ion storms. The giant crystals that grow there absorb energy, but it is not understood how they do so. The entire Delphi Ardu system, consisting of 11 planets, was considered completely uninhabited until the encounter with Portal 63. Frequent ion storms. That can't just be a coincidence. Someone from the Takan Empire is actually still around. Or at least was, 16 years ago. Computer, what other information do you have on Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire? The entity known as Portal 63 is of an unknown nature. A biped humanoid, he was unaware that the Takan Empire no longer existed at the time of the encounter. He was able to control the crystal-based technology of the Takan outpost through apparent telepathic means. It was by his choice that the Enterprise was released from the energy draining field, after Commander William T. Riker of the Away Team argued on behalf of both Starfleet and the Ferengi. Telepathic control of their technology. As I have said, they were the most advanced civilization in the galaxy. The technology to capture and hold the Federation flagship would have to be unbelievably powerful. Computer, what else can you tell us about the energy draining field the Takan used? The Enterprise-D was unable to break free on its own. The precise nature of the technology was never fully understood. Only that the crystalline technology used was beyond the comprehension of then-current Starfleet science. The engineering team found a quantized spin crystal formation in the shuttle you took to Hotari. They registered tetrametric radiation coming from it. We have Takan technology on board right now? We might. I'll run a full analysis in the containment lab. The Elidians should have crushed the revolt. But if the Hotari have Takan technology and can control it, I see why they're willing to negotiate peace. For all we know, this could be just the beginning. And we're up against something greater than we can imagine. There's only one way to find out. We need to see what's down there, for ourselves. I might be able to help with that. We've been able to triangulate the source of the ionic interference and warp disruption to a specific mine on Tau. Engineering used the latest data from your shuttle to pinpoint its origin. There. So we know where to look. <sighs> Commander Rydex right. We need to know what's down there, what the Hotari are hiding to better understand what we're up against, and to neutralize it if we can. Captain, embarking on a mission to the Hotari moon would not be viewed favorably by either side. However, given the circumstances, we are entirely within our rights to defend ourselves. I just want to make sure this doesn't blow up in our faces, which is why I'm thinking of sending Commander Rydek on a covert mission to Tau. Assuming you're up to the task. It would require absolute secrecy. And obviously, it's not without risk. I'm ready for action, Captain. Just say the word and I'll be there. I'll admit, I wish I could go myself. I'm hoping Tylus can accompany you. The priority is to avoid detection. It's a calculated risk. The last thing we need is to get caught and then blamed for violating our neutrality and aggravating an already tense situation. You can't afford any mistakes, which is why I've chosen you. Yes, sir. I'll do everything in my power to make sure no one knows I'm there. Good. Of course, you'll have full support from the Resolute, and we'll make sure we take every precaution. Every precaution? Get in touch with Tylus and make the necessary arrangements as discreetly as possible. Bridge to Captain Solano. 
The Illidians have moved additional ships to the edge of the Hotari system. Current heading is straight for the homeworld. Understood. It would seem we no longer have the luxury of waiting. In that case, may I suggest you and I return to Hotari Prime? Doing so will provide Commander Rydek as much time as possible to complete her mission. Agreed. We'll hail the Queen's delegation from my ready room. We all know what we need to do. Dismissed. <laughs>